Mr. Crockett's meeting for April 13th, 2021 to order. It is 7 p.m. and the meeting is being held with council and public in person while following the current COVID-19 guidelines. The city is also streaming live for viewing only via Zoom. Shannon, please call the roll. Ms. McFerrin? Here. Mr. Scafidi? Here. Mrs. Walker? Present. Mr. Bellin? Here. Mr. Fury? Here. Mrs. Stauffer? Here. Mr. Barr? Here. Do we have any presentations this evening? Okay. At this time, are there any items for discussion? Do we have any audience participation? Yes. Mrs. Clinton? Karen Clinton? Karen, while you're up there, if you can sign in. I know Amy was up there a second ago. There should be one up there, unless she took it. Okay, a little bit shoveled here. Good evening, Council, Mayor. Um, I'm here tonight, I wanted to talk to you about um, what we finally was able to ascertain as Ordinance uh, 21. There was some confusion on the website, it was 22. Um, and this is in reference to the Capital Improvements Board. Um, it's my understanding that um, you guys want to change the language you want to change it to strike one from each ward. So I'm here tonight to ask you not to do that and to vote no, uh, because this has been a point of contention for many, 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 many years. As a matter of fact, it goes all the way back to uh, an article that I found October 31st, 2002, where the Capital Improvements Board which maintains council, they actually abolished without any authority in 96. So from 1996 until several years later, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars were spent without any oversight. At which point, the Capital Improvements Board uh, that maintained was abolished in the 96, it took a lawsuit from Marcella Sally Gadosh for them to reestablish it at that mm -hmm. time uh, our law director was uh, Charles Charlie Chuck Webster, Mr. Maestros. I think you're familiar with him, right? <laughs> um, and he stated that it was actually um, a maintenance thing to put it back in place. But however, they put it back in place pronto, and they stopped uh, playing around with it. So at this point, now, years later, <laughs> again with so much money involved, um, we've decided, we meaning the council, that they want to change the language. And I'll just read the top of this here. It says, whereas the council has reviewed the membership requirements established in section 127.07 of the codified ordinance of the city of Twinsburg relating to the capital improvements board and has determined that the changes were justified. I'd like to know who justified this, who made this determination, first of all. Secondly, whereas the council believes that the board membership is diverse in both knowledge and experience and mandating that each ward in the city be represented is a goal. Well, if it's a goal, maybe all of you should start reaching out to your constituents and see that you can get those seats filled. That's the goal. And it says that, um, well, uh, and so it's a goal, but it should not be mandated into legislation. Well, I disagree. I think we should have representation from every ward. 
Sam, you're my councilman. I am specifically requesting that you vote no. I mean, you were here when they brought in the diversity uh, committee and we didn't have representation in Ward 1 and, and you were, went ballistic and rightfully so. We should have representation in every ward. So that things like um, word protection is available and is there. So that we don't have to worry about, oh, well, we can do it here, but not in my ward. Or we'll build it here, but we want everything over here in this ward, but not in that ward. We need representation from every single ward. So I vehemently and adamantly oppose that this language, one, from each ward be stricken. Everybody should vote no. This is a bad idea, and I don't want to see it happen. Thank you. That's all we have for audience participation tonight. Well, thank you. Thank you. Moving on to pending legislation and ordinance 21-2021. This is to amend section 127 of the codified ordinances regarding first person up. Making the representatives on the capital improvement for non ward specific. This will be on the second reading tonight. Is there any discussion on this ordinance? Yeah, I, I would just like to, uh, I, I don't necessarily disagree with, with anything that Mrs. Clinton just said. Um, I do, you know, I, I do think that the goal is, and I think we even had this discussion about, you know, yes, we, we do want to have representation. Um, I, Mrs. Clinton, I was just saying, I don't disagree with anything that you just said. Um, I do think the goal is to have representation across the city and across all the five wards. Um, yeah. That being said, we, we, um, we advertised these positions, uh, Shannon, uh, you could, I don't know for how long, for quite some time. Um, and and re yeah and re advertise them and and we just we didn't get in, I don't remember I don't believe we got anybody from Ward One for this particular board I'm not suggesting that that always is the case um, so I, I we we tried I guess is 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 all I'm saying that's it I want I guess I want to say something yeah. Um, yeah you know what I I as any everybody here knows or watching following the council meetings we just had. Uh, this issue come up with the Jedi Committee, okay? And you guys know that I fought very hard to have a representative from Ward 1. That's a committee that I feel was important uh, for the whole community, that it needed to be represented in each and every ward. Unfortunately, I didn't win that argument, okay? So there is no representative on that committee from Ward 1. But, and I thought about that same issue with, with the uh, Capital Improvements Board. I've sat on that board for the last two or three years as the council representative. And when you look at what that, the duties of that board, the duties of that board are not ward specific, to be honest with you. They are looking at, they're looking at the expenditures that the, apart, the departments in the city are doing within their own departments for, to spend money for everybody. It's not just, they're not spending money in Ward 3 or Ward 1 or Ward 6. It's not, it's not a ward specific type um, of board. There, it, it's, it's not like we're looking to say, okay, should we spend money on a street in, in Ward 1 or a sewer in Ward 1? That's not what they're looking at. Amy, when Amy does the, the projects, and she just went over all of them with us in, in the Public Works Committee, those are the projects for the whole city. Okay, so we're not looking at that in capital improvements. We're looking at what you know, somebody wants a, a fire truck, or somebody wants new police cars, or somebody wants street cameras, or, and that, that, it's not, they're not saying, oh, there's gonna be street cameras here in Ward 2, but none in Ward 1, or we're gonna put them in 5. They're gonna put them in the main, and Chris, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, Chris got some cameras, I believe, with this last round of, of uh, capital improvements. And those are going on the mains, they're going on the main street, so that's not a Ward specific thing. So I didn't have a problem with this because I don't see where um, Capital Improvements Board is a ward specific. They're not talking about ward specific projects. But trust me, Mrs. Clinton, when it comes to, and you can ask everybody up here, or you can go back and watch the tape, I demanded, I really wanted a representative from Ward 1. Unfortunately, I didn't get it for that Jedi Committee. I defended it and I set it up here. 
okay? It, it didn't happen this time. So, you know, next time, and I think, I think everybody knows my stand on, and hopefully we're all more sensitive to it, that the wards, the, the committees that are ward specific should have a ward representative, and, or, or that affects every ward. You know, I wanted, I wanted input from Ward 1 for the JEDI committee, which is the, the racism is a public health crisis. That's that committee. And I thought it was important, and I thought we had a really good candidate in Ward 1, too. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Also so that's all. We also now have an, another position open for capital improvement today. So one person applies and gets in there, right? Um, I, I, you know, I didn't realize the history of this. I didn't know that happened, and I, I agree with Mrs. Clinton on this. I do think it's, I think it's, we should keep it more specific. I mean, I, it's been that way for years. I don't really have a problem with it. If there was a history with it before, I mean, it's, we can we can get representatives. I would agree. I there are times when there are ward positions open in my ward, and I'm not reaching out to my residents. So I can even say, yep, I can do a better job of finding people for it. So I'm I don't have a problem with keeping it the way it is either. You know, voting no on this either. It does and not. Just to throw one thing in there, we had the parks and recreation mm -hmm. that was coming up. I called about four different residents. Mm -hmm. Nobody wanted to be involved. Nobody, they, not that they didn't want to, they, they couldn't at the time. It was just, they weren't able to do so. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you've got, you got to look at both sides of that. I mean, and, and on top of that, Shannon advertises for how much, a, a month, two months? It get, all positions when they're open get advertised for 60 days, and then if we're filling a vacancy or if somebody didn't apply within those 60 days, then we have another 30 days, so three months, 90 days. We advertise the heck out of them. I mean, and I recall times, on, and Bill will recall the same thing, sitting up here, that we, when we would advertise, I mean, we would have more people than we knew what to do with. That's just not the case anymore. So, go ahead, Bill. Mr. Fiore, you wanted to say something? I did. Thank you. Mrs. Clinton, I, I, I'm very familiar with the history of the Capital Improvements Board. The, when, when that was reinstated, the first representative, and it was the mayor, the finance director, council person and Bob McDermott. He was the first capital improvement board member once it was reinstated. In 2003, we were elected a council. We changed it the second year to have three residents on it. And several years later, we brought it up to five. So there, it's in the charter that you have to have a, a capital improvement board meeting. It doesn't tell you how, like some boards are written in the charter that they have to be on a certain structure. As as Sam or Mr. Scavidi said, w w some years we've had 30 people apply for these. The last few years we've had open seats that went open for the whole year. So I'd, I'd like to have five residents on it. And this is very wide effect. Does that lead to the conversations that we had when we were going to run for re-election? So you weren't concerned because uh, you weren't paying what they used to pay and you were No, I don't. But well, uh, well, let me remind you, that's exactly so, what you So you want to argue you with me about argue. something that's irrelevant to the position you have? Yeah. No, it's, it's, relevant. it's relevant. Thank you for your time. You, yeah, you were incorrect in your, in your history. Well, no. Excuse me, Mrs. Um, Ms. Mesa, do you have any history on this that you can share with us? I don't mean to put you on the spot. Well, you're not. Um, I mean, the whole issue came up. I mean, we know because we did not have an applicant from Ward 1. It's as simple as that. So we can go forward. We are required to have five members. We only have four members that would apply if it was Ward specific. We also now have another opening because we've had a resignation on this board. So we have to re-advertise again to fill a new opening that has been created. If there is somebody from Ward 1 that wants to apply, I mean, I think we should strongly encourage that, but we have no applicants. I'm not sure what the, the answer to the question, if you want to make it more specific, is you're only going to have four members, sir. Any other discussion from council? Yes, I do. Um, Karen, you're in Ward 1. Did you apply? I didn't, but there are people that are interested in Ward 1, and I have been given the opportunity. And yeah. again, I don't think the language needs to change. I think something is important. It worked, it's not 
you know, had I known, I would have called you to apply, or if you knew of someone. But okay, this is on the second reading, so I think we can move on. Um, moving on to Resolution 2021, and this is to enter agreements with ODOT for Rose Salt contract award in 2021. Is there any discussion? I mean, I can just talk about it. This is this is just our salt program, um, yeah. And so we've we've had success with the under the ODOT program, so we'll continue that for next year. Resolu resolution 27, 2021, and this is accepting the NOPAC Energizing Community Grant Program. Is there any discussion? Resolution 28, 2021, appointing one member to the park. Rec Commission. This resolution is to appoint one member to the Parks and Recreation Commission Board One opening, and the resident being appointed is Deb Pell. Is there any discussion? She served before and she did a great job. Uh, she's also the head of the Friends of Twinsburg Friends Parks and Rec as well, so I think it's uh, only to our benefit to have her back yeah. in that position. So, yeah, mm -hmm. she's and she is in Ward One. Yes. So. Resolution 29-2021, appointing one member to the Environmental Committee. This resolution is to appoint uh, two members, sorry, to the Environmental Commission opening. The residents being appointed are Crystal Davis and Peter Flato. Is there any discussion? Both of these members have been on the board. They do a great job. So, and these are not ward specific. Okay. Ordinance 20, uh, 30. 2021, that's the appropriations amendment for top payouts and school compensation. This is an increase in the budgeted reimbursements for the top agreements and school district compensation payouts. The total payouts are 500869 Is there any discussion? No, this is just so our TOPS program, um, and we have an agreement with the school district, so when we uh, are under our CRA program, when we give tax abatement, we have um, uh, agreement with the schools in terms of sharing the income tax under that agreement. So uh, these numbers came in a little bit higher than what was budgeted, so that's why the amendment's needed. Ordinance 31, 2021. This is awarding bid for 2021 East Idlewood improvements to Sherman Construction LLC. This is to award the alternate bill bid which allows for a two-week closure of the roadway in the amount of $126,907. This allows the project to be completed in a shorter time frame and is safer for the workers. Is there any discussion? Amy? I just wanted to make sure there are no questions. This is not the lowest bid on the base bid. This is the lowest bid on the alternate bid. They're pretty close. I uh, have great recommendations. I've never worked with the company, but I've got great recommendations. And that's in but order to does, shut the road, it, right? it is a two-week closure. Okay. Um, and that's where the Macero Plaza and these, you know, the Kicker Creek. So that will close that end of East Side of Wood. We'll put up notifications. Um, talked with the chiefs. Uh, both are good. They have routes around. They have how they service the area. So I think it's just safer. Resolution 32, 2021, amending CRA with PFG and 8745 Chamberlain. This is resolution for a CRA agreement with PFG and 8745 Chamberlain Road, LLC, in support of a 78,000 square foot addition. The original submitted by the developer overstated the existing employment for PFG investment levels and new job creation will remain the same as originally proposed. Is there any discussion? No. Ordinance 33, 2021, Appropriations Amendment for Reimbursement Grant Funding for Property Purchase. This is for reimbursement grant funding that was awarded for a property purchase. This will be appropriate funds for the purchase of the property with reimbursement to be received upon proof of payment. Appropriate amount is 19,129. Is there any discussion? Resolution 34, 2021, 
resolution in support of the school renewal levy. This resolution shows the city and board of education understand that financially strong city and school districts are essential for all Twinsburg residents. The city has historically supported the school levies. Is there any discussion? No. No, I think this, uh, well, I'm excited that uh, the school has, um, where the city council is entering in this, um, the school is also going to be um, publicly supporting um, our uh, 2.4 mil levy. Um, so I expect uh, representatives at council meeting uh, tonight from the school board uh, sharing that. So, um, you know, I, I think uh, we've got a history of working really well together, and I think they understand the strength of the city's finances and the schools go hand in hand in terms of what we offer here in our community. So I'm, uh, I'm glad that we're, we're doing this. Um, uh, city Council is doing this and also glad the school board is also uh, passing a similar ordinance. Okay. Miscellaneous. Council, does anyone have any miscellaneous items to discuss? Okay, uh, we did have one conversation um, that I wanted to bring up, and that is department heads coming back to the meetings again. How does council feel about having department heads return to our meetings? Good. Are any, are any yeah. department heads opposed to coming to our meetings? I don't think so. No. But we haven't had them, so the conversation is. Yeah, Yeah. no, I had um, well our, our Monday meeting, we, we had a discussion regarding it, and my thoughts were kind of see how this first public meeting goes and um, I think seating wise we should be okay because depending on the reporting we could have three or four department heads in here I wouldn't want to take up seats to the public while we're still limited but typically I think we would be okay um, mm -hmm. but we kind of wanted to see how this would flow first and then I can kind of get them back on a schedule like we did before okay. Fine. Okay. Right. anything else Okay, then we're going to adjourn the caucus meeting now at 726.